bass players don't usually play chords as much as say the guitarist or the keyboard player. A chord is just three or more notes played at the same time. Bass players play a lot more double stops. These are two notes played together. Temps are quite a good example of that. Are that okay? They're very effective on the bass. But used appropriately, chords definitely have a place in bass lines. They can be used to create a much bigger sound in certain situations. You'll often hear chords being played in solo bass pieces by bass players like Michael Manrig, Jonas Helborg, Victor Wooten, Richard Bonner and Steve Lawson for example. But chords are used as well in rock tunes by bass players like Lemmy, Geddy Lee, Flea and Les Claypool. In this video I'm going to show you some options for playing bass chords. We're going to focus more on power chords rather than seventh jazz chords which have more of this kind of sound, okay? Uh, and I'm going to show you some classic tunes that use bass chords in them. You'll find all the chords and bass lines from this lesson in a free PDF. You can get that by clicking the link below this video in the description. First of all, let's play a power chord. These are used all the time on the guitar. Now you can have two or three notes in the power chord. If you want to be pedantic about it, a two note power chord isn't technically a chord because it needs to have three notes. It's more of a double stop, um, but they're still called chords or power chords anyway. So let's start on E as the root note. We can use E on the seventh fret of the A string. And just to play the power chord, you play the fifth, which is here, okay, on the ninth fret of the D string, and just play that together, okay? Get that sound. Okay, we can take this power chord around the neck. We can start it anywhere. Um, let's say C. Okay, or we could even play it starting on C here. Okay, um, D. Okay, even D here. So you now try and just play that two note power chord and just start it on different root notes. It's important when playing chords on the bass that we try and play a little bit higher up, um, mostly on the A, D and G string. We can play some power chords starting on the E string, I'll show you those in a minute, um, but the sound's more muddy when you play down the bottom of the bass, okay? It's better up here, okay? A classic song that uses these two note power calls is School Days by Stanley Clark. Okay, so that just uses that power chord. We're just uh, moving it around the bass. We're starting on A, the 12th fret of the A string. Going to F sharp and then E, okay? So just using these root notes, A, F sharp, E, okay? But we're putting the fifth in. And then down to D, okay, we play a muted note. So we're playing it like that, so we're not getting a tone on it, we're just lifting your fingers off lightly. So just practice that if you find that tricky. Okay, so we've got. Okay, so that's F sharp and E again. So really when you're playing these power chords, just kind of um, focus on the root note and then your little finger. I play the fifth with the little finger. Okay, you can play it with your third finger, but I find that uh, it gets quite tired if you're playing this bass line. So little finger, so let your little finger just follow your uh, keep it in that position, follow your um, first finger on the root note. So, that's quite fast. So, okay. And that's really fast, so I'll just practice like that. Okay, I'll carry on. Okay, so again, that's, we're just using D, E and F sharp. We're doing the slide. 
okay and that's just on C and A okay I'll play it slowly speed so it's quite tricky to play at full tempo but it's really fun to mess around with that bass line that's all on the pdf okay so make sure you download that uh, and just try this one out so the tip really or the secret is keeping this hand position okay and just taking that around the whole neck Another interesting use of the power chord um, is by Tommy Shannon in the live version of Texas Flood by Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. Okay, um, Tommy Shannon uses a few licks in there and he also keeps the root note the same. So he plays this. Okay. This pattern's very similar to the type of blues pattern a rhythm guitarist might do, okay? So what we're doing there, we're just playing the two note power chord on G and we're just moving the top note up a, um, a whole step, so two frets. So just practice that. I would play the, the fifth with my third finger and then the, um, the next note with your little finger like this. Just practice that. And when you're playing power chords, you've got kind of options of what fingers to use. When I've got a two note power chord, I just use um, first and second fingers to pluck. Some people might want to use their thumb. I find that hard, okay? So I just use fingers one and two. So it's got that lick in there. From A, A, B, D. E. Okay. Then he moves the whole thing up to C. Okay, so same thing, we've got the root and fifth, and then we're going up to a whole step for the, the note above. And that just comes back down, and then the same thing. Okay, so we've got that lick at the end. Okay. Okay, so that's a good one to mess around with, um, especially as it's slightly different with keeping the root note the same. So that there is really just a, a G or a G7 chord there. Okay, so have a go at that on the PDF. If you're enjoying this lesson, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. You can do that by pressing the red button in the corner of the screen. And if you click the bell and select all, then you'll get notified as soon as I bring a new video lesson out. Now to fatten up this two note power chord, um, guitarists do this all the time. They put the um, root note on the top as well, so an octave higher. So if we go from E again, we can play it there, okay? So we're just doing E, B, and then E on the top. Okay, so I use, I actually use my first, second, and third finger to pluck that, but this is where you might want to use your thumb. Okay, it's entirely up to you. Uh, there's no kind of set way to do it. But again, with your left hand, first, third, and fourth finger. Okay, so that power chord again, we can take around the neck. Okay, so you practice that power chord, three note power chord, and then take it around the neck, starting on different root notes. Andy Fraser used these power chords in Mr. Big by Free, okay, in the chorus, so it's sort of like, Mr. Big, boom, so on E, and then, and then he used this here, which is actually a B, like this B power chord, but he uses the F sharp below, okay. Mr. Big. Mr. Big. So that's 
really nice that, okay, with the uh, with the fifth actually on the bottom. Okay, so that's a good bass line um, to practice this power chord in. Power chords don't have a third in them, so they can be used over a major or a minor chord because we don't have the third, okay? So the third really defines whether a chord is major or minor. But we can play major and minor chords, so we're going to start on E again. Um, let's try E and then the third and then the fifth, like there, okay? Okay, so that's just E major chords. So we're using root, third, fifth. Fairly awkward to play with the left hand. Um, with the right hand again, I use one, two, three. I start with my um, third finger on the E, second finger on the G sharp, and first finger on the B, okay? But if you've got a better way to play it, then you can do that as well, okay? So that's E um, major. And we can play here. We can play this power chord. Again, use the fingers that you're comfortable with. What that is, that's E, E, and then the major third and G sharps. So there's no fifth in there, but it still sounds like a nice chord, okay? So that's E major, another position. Then E minor, remember E major here? Now we want to put the... Um, the G in instead of G sharp. Okay, that chord there, okay? Even more awkward to play than E major, okay? But that's what it is, just E, G, B. So root, minor, third, fifth. Okay, and if we wanna play it starting on E. Okay, I'm using my finger to bar here. E, E, G. That's E minor. So have a look at those on the PDF and just mess around with those. So the normal power chord is a lot easier to play um, than putting the third in here. To end this lesson, I'm going to show you another cool um, bass line that uses calls. This is Peter Hook's bass line um, from the Joy Division song Love Will Tear Us Apart. Okay? First chord's quite clashy, okay? It's a D sus2 chord. So we use an open D there, and then we use an E up here, that's a sus2, okay? Okay, um, the original Peter Hook version of it is played using a pick, but we can just use fingers, if, or you can use a pick if you want. So. And then. Okay, so we're keeping the root note the same, just that open D. First of all, just try the melody line. Shift there. And then put the um, open D in. And then we've got here. Okay, so that's a D and a B. So we just play the chord together, and the last one we just play a single B on its own. And we move to, down to A, and then the open A. So play two single A's and then add the bottom A. Okay, and then back D, and then back to the beginning again. I'll play it through. It sounds really cool and um, with some chorus on it, not the original. Okay, 
that's a really fun bass line there. It's a real kind of bass feature on the song. You're playing a sort of melody line, and um, that's the line that the vocalist takes sometimes, um, but you're really filling it out with these chords. And it's great with a pick, actually, and you get that real kind of strumming effect. Well, I hope this video has given you a taste for trying out chords on the bass guitar. And there are loads of options, loads of different chords, but these power chords in particular are really effective. They're easy to use and they're, they're really great if you want to fatten up the bass line. You do have to be selective in where you use chords, but next time you're playing with a band or just jamming um, at home, then try and see if you can put some chords in, these two note power chords or the three note power chords. I'd love to hear what you've thought with this lesson or if you know any other bass lines that have got bass chords in them. Just let me know by leaving a comment below this video. Don't forget to like and share this video and to subscribe to my channel. This really helps me to spread the word and to get this video in front of loads of other bass players. If you felt that you got value out of this lesson, you can always buy me a coffee. They're $5, the details are at the bottom of the screen, or you can click the links in the description. And also check out my website, gbshed.com. I've got loads more bass resources over there, um, bass courses, free stuff. You can buy bass books, you can buy merch, you can get this t-shirt. And um, so check that out, that's gbshed.com. You'll also see loads of other handy links down in the description along with the free PDF. This is Greg from Greg's Space Shed. Hopefully see you very soon in the next lesson.